okay, we are going to make this website a, a kind of simple website that is that looks cute but if you are a beginner and uh, you want to make websites this website will have all the things that you will need I mean all the components if you can make simple websites like this then you can make all the complex websites I mean you begin with something simple and then you start making big things and uh, that way you learn how to make websites just by looking at the tutorials will not help you so what this website does has this has a kind of bar the nav bar and uh, this is uh, the kind of logo here and it has a kind of rounded edge over here that is giving it a kind of uh, unique feel that is also we are going to make then it has these uh, images displayed like adjacent to each other that looks good and some text and some buttons then here is some text part here are some icons four awesome icons that i will be using and i will be teaching you how to use and how to how to use them here is the footer so it's a kind of simple website and here is uh, we are going to create it now let's go to the desktop where i have created the folder and here is the folder where i have the html and css but now i want to delete all of them i want to create everything from ground up so i have duplicated that folder and here is the img images folder where i have the images here is the css folder which has not just uh, the which will not just have the css style dot css file of our website but also the font awesome font awesome is the font that we use for using the icons the icons like facebook icon twitter instagram and all those user icons all those icons we do not use images but we use a font that is a font awesome and I have copied all those files from the phone awesome I'll be making a video smart uh, a small video like how to use phone awesome how to extract them and all those things in the next video but here here is the phone awesome here is the CSS file here is web phones these are given by phone awesome not by me and I have copied them to this folder and then placed this folder inside the CSS now let's go to the code editor I'm using VS code visual studio code let's create this command new control new or file and new then save this we have to save this inside the new thing this is w6 is a folder that where i am creating this website <clears throat> so inside this i have to create this and i have to call this index.html not inside css folder but outside all of them the index is created we have to create the css file as well so i just created a command new and i mean and then command s then i will call it not just call it but i will place it inside this CSS not inside FA folder but just CSS STYLE dot CSS dot CSS yes like this now it is done so on the HTML we need to press shift 1 or shift exclamation mark and this will show the bare bones have come up I mean you have to install install the extensions over here just go to this part and write HTML over here this will show you all the extensions you can just install them they are easy simple no nothing nothing to worry about this document we have to write this like cat maybe and this cat now if I open this now in the browser here is that cat what we wrote just right now now we will come back to this again and link our CSS file how we do that by writing L I N K link over here I enter link then this option CSS and not just CSS we have to write the folder name as well so the name of that folder is CSS now it is done we have to attach the font awesome as well same thing again link CSS but instead of this dot CSS style dot CSS we have to write the folder name then inside this we have another folder that is FA font awesome then another folder CSS then we have all dot min dot css let me show you where this is coming from here it is then fa then css then all dot min dot css like this nothing will happen we just attached we did nothing else now we want to work on our body the main part where everything happens now let's test this phone awesome if it has attached or not i will just put i and then press then give it a class of i class f a b means phone awesome brands f a dash i and s t a g r a m instagram if i type this now instagram will show up it means phone awesome is working so am i making it up i mean this i class f a b far no i'm not making it up if you go to phone awesome website then you click on these icons then you see this thing here 
is this copy HTML like this for anything you can copy from here uh, let me explain to you what does it, it mean FAB means phone awesome brands FAR means phone awesome regular FAS means for phone awesome simple simple as that now we have to create the header first header is given by the HTML itself so we will write the header and then give it a class of header only let's make things easy for us now what we want inside header we want to have a kind of nab link so we will put um, an av dot uh, give it a class of that's okay and uh, maybe we should create two I think two should be okay yes we will create nab one inside this we need to have a links and give them a class of n l i n k s n links where should it go href should go nowhere so that is a hash mark now we have to give it a name we'll call it about now duplicate this shift alt or shift option down arrow and up, instead of about we will write what is what we have written over here we have written about foods pet care and contact i have do not worry about then what was that what was that did i forget foods yeah foods then we need to duplicate this again and call it two it is uh, pet i think it was pet care and underneath it's contact now it is done now what else we need we need that rounded circle also but we have to put that outside of our header so maybe call that cir cle this will create a div do not use div too often use it only when something is not making sense to you so a div, div by, by the class of circle will be created and that's it <clears throat> now we will go inside CSS and give some style we will not do it at once but we will keep on doing it first of all write this because we want to reset the padding and margin that is given by the browser I mean there is something default so we will make that to margin to zero padding to zero now something given by the browser will not work whatever we will give that will work so next thing is body body we do not have to give any class or ID to the body it is by default body the first thing what we have to do we have to create the canvas means we have to give it a width and height width should be 100% instead of percent we can write VW means view width that is a key a new thing good thing HEIT height it should be automatic I mean let's let it decide how, how big it should be <clears throat> depending on the content next thing what we have we have the header and we have given it a class name of header guys it is is it making sense to you you have to understand the things and you have to keep on doing them then only they will start sitting on your fingertips then they will happen naturally what we have to do give it the width it do needs something some size width height and width 100 percent yeah we will do that under vw i'm not using that thing percent height maybe 90 pixels we want to give it some background color maybe green but we do not want dark green we want a kind of light green what else we need we need um, okay let's now if i come to the browser again and uh, do this now you see this has shown but the links are not at the right place we have to work on them but first let's create that circle as well we gave that a name of circle so dot c i r c circle what we want we want to give it some width we want to make it a complete round circle width of maybe 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 140 pixels same height yes it should be 140 pixels because we want to make it complete round how we make by giving a border radius of 50 percent if i do that nothing will happen it doesn't have a background color background color we want to give it the same like this so we will copy it from here so there is no difference visually now if i come back this is looking up here but we do not want it to be here we will do one thing we will give margin and we want to put it at top maybe 
minus 4 percent mean it should go up okay then auto means it should be placed in the center like that minus 4 is not working minus 6 should work mm, still too much minus 5 what I'm doing minus 8 and that looks good okay that thing is done now inside this we need to put an image where how we use the image IMG and maybe we can give it a class cat I see you an icon yeah why not I'm source we have the IMG folder over here here we have the we are working inside this we have the IMG folder inside this this we need to use the cct.png um, forward slash cct.png all good always write something inside the alt text do not ignore that cat i am a g image a g yeah i'm writing that good now what how will it display will it display good no it will not look good right now we have to put it down how will we do that we will need to maybe come inside this and uh, and uh, write this text align I mean we have to put this in the center let's try if this thing work or not why this is coming again and again I do not want to this is okay now what we need along this we will write another line to put it down maybe so we are using line height line height means the height of the parent parent is circle here so we want to give it some height so it is in the center maybe uh, how about 180 pixels damn why is why is this coming I, I don't like this um maybe it's less maybe 210 that should work maybe 220 it is in the center you see it's looking good now so now we need to work on that length how where are those links they are in the header so we need to make it display flex maybe things will get thrown here and there let's see now they are good now what we need to do we need to put them in the center like this uh, this is the vertical center and this is horizontal center so now let's put them so a l i b and align items in the center when you are using flexbox you have to try everything that's how it works i mean sometimes things work sometimes they don't work so you have to keep on trying and you will understand how these things are working now we have to justify means we have to put them here like we want so we have many options like um, space between let's try space evenly that's looking good space around let's see how it goes Still good space between not good so I think space around should work fine or maybe space I mean you just saw all these three things you tried and what worked you tried that now these are not spaced very good so we have to give them some spacing so we have given those links uh, class that is n length so we will use that n Yes, in links and <clears throat> we need to give them some padding uh, like that P A D D S padding maybe 20 pixels or maybe we will increase that that has no impact on it it is a problem L I M K because we have not given the right class name 20 is uh, very less maybe 50 that looks good now <clears throat> we do not want these text lines to have an underline so we will remove that by saying this text decoration none this will remove that underline we do not want this to be uh, green so we will write the color to be kind of a white color so just write white or FFF and white we do not want them to be this small we want to make them capitalized but not by writing them capitalized but why using a smart thing here that is text uh, t f t text I mean use things given by them you do not uh, do the unnecessary work 
now these are uppercase we will use the phone family also later on now the head is done now we want to work on the main section in the main section where is the main section head is done up till here now we want to start here and call it main main is given by the html itself so do not worry and give it a class of main as well now it is created inside main first we want to create what a big box for the cats so we will call it just cats it will be a div and it has a class of cats now inside this everything will happen first we will create um, a section it could be a div also section by the name of by the class of box and inside this we want an image of a cat so image do do we want to give it a class maybe no an image source img folder li like the you saw already then we have some images and they have names here and let me see what are names one two three four that is okay we will not use uh, two we will use one three four one three four so c what is the name of that yeah c one dot jpg it's not a png it's a jpg now always write <coughs> alt text cats maybe <coughs> now if you come here things will not look good as you want they will look different now we have to give it some width over here only come here and uh, put some width w i d t width maybe um, maybe 280 pixels 280 pixels should work should work should work it's uh, very small maybe i should maybe increase it maybe make it 300 and after the image we want to put that name and uh, let's call that s2 tag and give it a class of cat name and uh, let's call that bob cat that's okay and in, underneath this we want to put some text also do we have some text down there um here yeah, we have some text yes so let's uh, create that text as well create a p tag and give some cat text cat p -E. just txt and inside this we want to put lower maximum of uh, maybe 20 lines and then press tab it will write automatically you have to install the extension by going over here like that guys do that that will be very helpful for you later on and underneath this we have a button and let's call this just btn button what what we want inside the button <laughs> we are not doing any stupid thing with the cats we are not selling them we are just letting people know about them like these are some amazing cats okay just that much only okay now this box is done it has a cat image it has a name it has some text then it has a button now if i save it will not look good but it will have some text to work on now first thing first let's style this box and we need to give some background color to the body as well so come over here body it needs a background color like in the first website that we did we have a kind of pink color so we'll pink let's see how it looks it's very light pink we may make it dark pink but first let's style this cat and uh, this cat what is the name of this thing this is box come over here dot box means we are accessing the class name box we want to give it some width um 300 pixel is okay height do not worry about that we want to align things in the center so we will use this text align center i mean this is for texture but it works for many things at times things are looking good now so we want to put it down as well but we will not do that right now we will do that to the whole this thing what is that thing cats yes so let's access that cats and margin at the top should be two um, percent and then auto means everything should be in the center it didn't work let's uh, do one thing what is the name of this thing over here uh, circle let's give it a margin bottom margin bottom uh, maybe uh, maybe 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 
three percent. Let's see if that do something. Yes, uh, that looks good. Now let's do one thing. <coughs> Inside the box, we need to give it some style. The cat image should should be rounded. So border. No, that's not what we want to. We want to access the image. So how we do that? Box and whatever image it has. It has should have a border radius. Mean it should be rounded, not sharp. Twelve pixels. Let's see if that worked. That worked. Now, what we need to do? We will change the phone later on. We will let's style the button. I think the name of button is BTN, and uh, give it a width. What is this? Will be a DPS width of maybe um, uh, ninety pixels. Height maybe. Thirty-six pixels. Um, background, background should be should be should be should be. Let's call this salmon, and uh, should uh, it should be rounded as well. So border radius, um, maybe six or oh no eight pixels. No eight pixels. Yeah, that good looks good. Now the text inside this should have a color of uh, white, so that white is okay. Now what else? Let's see. It should have a padding as well, and the border it has is looking ugly. It's looking very uh, stagged. Let's uh, what is fix? Maybe make it a bit larger. Now let's remove the border. It should have no border. That kind of grayish border. I do not like that. Just try none. That will be removed. Yes, and let let's give it a margin at top so it is not touching the things at top. Maybe three percent looks a um, bit less. Maybe five percent. Let's see that. We okay. Let's um. It's okay now. Change the font size. Font size one M. Or you could write fourteen pixels, sixteen pixels, whatever you like. Okay now. We want to change the one more thing that is the bobcat. That text should have a margin too. What is the name of that thing? Bobcat, 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 bobcat. It has a name of cat name. Cat name should have a margin too at the bottom. Cat name. This is a class, and it should have a margin. Bottom should be three percent. Let's see if that work or not. That kind of work. Okay, now we need to change the font. It's not looking good, but let's do that later on. Now, what we need to do? We need to uh, create like these three cats. Here we have one, two, three cats, and uh, so I'm going to do one thing. It's not looking exactly like that, but we will. Okay, we all we have to do is like duplicate them. Two, three, and here we want to put three cat three, and here we want to put cat four, and uh, the name of these cat should be uh, maybe Ryu. Here the name should be Araka. Now let's see. They will not be like placed like that. So what we have to do inside the parent folder for these cats and the and the name of that thing is cats. We will use display flags. Now see, but they are not looking good. What we have to do, just like the things we did the with the menu, we will put justify content space, not space evenly, but space between. Ah, yeah, we could try all those things. Now they are gone, far away. Okay. Space evenly. Space or round. I mean, I could work with any one of them, but um, that's okay. That's okay. And uh, now the cats should have a margin at top of more than two percent. Four percent should be okay. What is that? What is that? I mean, why two was working and it's not working? I did something wrong here. Something is wrong here. Margin at top. Have I done something wrong? Space around. It is not around. It's around. Okay. Now these 
boxes should have a bit bit more maybe 360 pixels um keep it 340 and here we need to change their size to 340 maybe 340 let's try if that make them a bit large not kind of smaller i think that is okay now we will have to increase this margin at the top maybe make it six percent okay i think that's okay and let's first change the background of this uh, body from light pink to a kind of darkish pink oh that's looking very bright but no problem it's going good with the green at top so now we need to use the google phones come to the google phones i have selected this phone what is the name of this phone siraka i will clear this i will do it one more time so let's use this phone um siraka okay let's use this only you have to click on this plus button then click on this box that just got selected and here either you select this and post it inside the html let me show you how we do it come over here and underneath that css link part here either you post it like this or you do one more thing you come here instead of embed you know import you write standard you write this import now just copy this and you will need to post this inside your css file come at the top and just post it paste it now this font is imported now we can use this font how we will use that by selecting this copy this come to the css file and we want to give this font family to maybe all let's try that we gave to the body so whole body will use this font let's see that has worked but it's it's okay it's okay it's okay the phone is okay i mean i have post pasted this link at both places at css also and html also i will just uh, save it here let's see if it is working or not yes it is working so you can use either way by, by a css or by a html so it is looking good now up till here i think um, it's making some sense and now this uh, name should not be black they should be white so where is that title um and links and uh, where is that thing cat name cat name button box what is the name of that thing cat cat name so okay let's call that mm. color should be off white maybe azure that should look good okay now this part is done now we have to create this part this text part so how we do that pretty easy just come to the html inside all those uh, uh, outside all of those uh, boxes where we created the cats and everything okay i mean even outside this div as well this div has all those cat boxes but inside main now we will create another div that is for some text i mean you could give it any name inside this we need to have a title so we'll give it s2 tag and we'll call that um, subtitle s u b t i t l e subtitle and uh, we need to write something uh, uh, pet care tips yeah this, this could be anything now underneath this we need to write some text it will be dummy text so a, a paragraph and some pft we create a class and uh, now we need to put lorem ipsum i'll write lorem and maybe i will put 200 lines put tab or enter and it will write it that's it for us we do not have to write this ourselves i think this part is done now we need to put that those icons how we do that just write i no um put this like an i and uh, now it is completed now give it a class cla class fab i showed you how to do this i mean you go inside here and here is that thing I've been doing them for long, so I, I know how. What are these Instagram? We need one for uh, TWIT Twitter as well, 
and uh, one we need for share icon and but this is not fab this will be fire means regular and copy this one more time what else we need we need to create one for a heart heart means love now when you come back over here and uh, those icons but this one is not working this one for sharing so we have to maybe write f let's see if that works that worked no problem the text is too much i think we need to uh, remove a bit and just one two three four we'll just duplicate that and it will be okay now text is done but why it is going to the extreme edges like that we have to give it some width so what is the name of this section uh, some txt some text write that as so and some txt and give it a width it could be percentage i will just write a um, 90 no that's too much 80 b double and we need to put it in, it in the center as well so how we do that margin uh, at top we want two percent then automatic left and right so it is in the center that looks nice but we need to give it some color as well some text i mean whole color should be yeah, let's make that off white kind of azure um okay okay but um um, um no we do not want this to have a common color we will uh, okay some text this paragraph can have this okay we will write a kind of uh, beige beige means kind of uh, dull color uh -huh. i'm giving it to again to the whole family we need to give it to the subtitle okay let's give the subtitle a different color c b t i t l d subtitle then give it a color of uh, maybe just for testing and uh, okay and draw any anyway it looks nice but too this uh, white is looking too bold i mean i need to make it dark pink how about that uh, that makes sense but now those icons they do need color and uh, let's put let's give them a new class as well i c n i mean this will add another class you can add as many classes but if there is no space between then the class will be affected so you have to give space so i c n is a new class that we have given to the icons and now we can give them some color let's call them gray they are great but i do not like that so i will just uh, make them white but i will uh, load on their opacity let's try that opacity opacity maybe 0 0.6 let's see if that work or not that has worked but uh, I, I maybe 0 0.9 that is okay we need to give them some space as well so how we do that padding maybe 20 pixels they will all of them will receive that you see those icons are looking now now we need to create the footer and this will come under outside main so right footer footer is given by a footer is given by HTML just write the footer and give it a class name of footer and you could just give it any name so what I have I have on the footer um, have a good day have a good day guys this is what i have to uh, um, what i'm going to write i could write e tag here that's a good practice just writing text without any tags is not good for html i mean everything should be in the coder so now we need to style the footer footer should be how long width its width should be 100 percent footer its width should be 100 percent v double height maybe make it uh, 120 pixels we have to give it some oh, back uh, back background color maybe um, salmon i mean just to hold it for a while 
and the color of a text that will be inside it may be called azure and um, we have to align the text in the center so txt text dash align that should be center now things will not look good as of now they are uh, the text is at the top we want to put it in the center so we have, have to use line height what should be the height same as the parent that is 120 pixels now this will be in the center but we do not like the color of the footer so we will change that to maybe a kind of uh, bluish dark bluish you know so that thing that looks good now this thing is uh, done now we want to give it some margin top maybe 40 pixels we do not want this to look like the photo is too close to we do not want to save this ha 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 that's too less how about 400 that will put it <clears throat> way down so maybe 200 should be okay now you see you have done a website looks beautiful man i mean it looks nice okay okay you have some cat images so you know how to use the flex box you know how to use some font awesome icons you know how, how to play with the colors and all those things and if this is helping guys give me a like and subscribe i'll be happy and i'll be happy to create more content for you i'll be uploading all the data that this website is using all those css html files images and i will also put the li live version of this website uh, in the description as well so you can see it live uh, give me a like and subscribe and uh, if you are liking do let me know in the comment i mean write a comment I, I'll be happy. Okay. Thank you. Have a great day.